We are going now to take a look at the shell code we extracted uh, in the previous video. Now we are not going to take uh, too much details uh, a look in this shell code, but uh, know that this is in the same file 64 bit and 32 bit shell code. And this shell code does the following when it is called, it is called with an argument, and that is uh, the name of the Word document, the full name. And then it will extract an encoded exe from that Word document, write it to disk and execute. So let's try to analyze this. First of all, we have several empty lines here again. We will uh, remove them. So let's go to hex view. And here you can see 0D, 0A, 0D. So that's a carriage return, new line carriage return. And we will replace this. Sorry, first we want to be in hex here. So we will replace this with uh, carriage return new line, like this. So now we have here uh, our shell code. If we search for XOR, so text XOR, we will find many XOR operations on registers. And here there is one on register with a constant, a constant D. So here is actually the decoding loop for the exe. So if you look here, you have an egg hunt in the file for this value. And this is the value POLA, P-O-L-A. If this is found, then we add C to the position. So that's 12 bytes. And then for every byte in that payload, we add a tree to the byte and we do an XOR with D. And this is here the size of the payload. So let's take a look at uh, our executable here. So this is, uh, sorry, the doc file. This is the doc file. We search for text, Pola, P-O-L-A. Okay, it occurs only once. Here you have it. And from here we move, uh, <coughs> move 12 bytes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, and here we have our payload that starts. Now we will copy that payload and uh, decode it. So select range. This is where we want to start on our position of the cursor. And then here the size. So that is what we read in uh, the shell code 162 AC hexadecimal, like this. Okay, and this selects our complete payload. We will copy this into a new file, like this. And then we can do the binary operations on it. So adding three and XORing with D. And we can do that from tools. X operations, add, make sure you work on unsigned bytes. The value we want to add is a three decimal. And also here, make sure that it works on the entire file and that this is empty, like this. So now we have added three to every byte in the file. And now next step is to binary XOR this on an unsigned byte, value D, hexadecimal, like this. And what we obtain here now looks like base64. So we select this all, we copy it, and we will decode it in a new file. So a new file, edit, paste from base64. And it decoded without other errors. And here you can see MZ. So this is uh, 
an executable. If we run the template for executables, so exists for PE files, we can indeed see that we are dealing with an executable here, MZ. Here this program cannot be run in DOS mode. Here the PE header. And here you have the different uh, sections.